Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now for today's video, I thought I would go over some of the books that are on my shelf, specifically historical romances and specifically very older vintage historical romances that I need to read. So the first book that I really want to read is this one called Bridal Lace and Buckskin by Laurie Copeland. And it's very hard to read this metallic shiny cover. That's why I'm struggling so much with it. But this one sounds so good. Now I read Laurie Copeland last month or so and I enjoyed her writing. So this one involves our heroine who is a seamstress and then this lady in town walks into her store and kind of announces that she's getting married to this really handsome rancher and she almost like spits out her tea because the handsome rancher that she is marrying is actually the seamstress which is our heroine's husband. So basically our heroine and hero once upon a time got married and they were really in love with each other. They really couldn't like get over each other a lot even though their fathers both hated each other. It was like a Romeo and Juliet situation. They got married, they had fun, but then what ended up happening was that they woke up and they realized their life is a nightmare and that they can't be together because it'll hurt everybody around them a lot. So they went their separate ways but they never got a divorce and now she has to kind of like live with the consequences of what happened in the past because she's still deeply in love with him and she has to kind of watch this whole wedding be planned out. So the next book that I have is this one from the viral spencer and it's called morning glory and i picked this up from the thrift shop because it had a really pretty step back like this it is definitely like a western historical romance it's kind of like set in the olden times um but basically our heroine has three children and she has no husband i think her husband passed away and she really needs an extra pair of hands around the house to help out so she is advertising for a husband who will come and help take care of the children and be part of the family and obviously be a winner too as well. I don't think she wants emotions anyways because she's advertising for her husband and so our hero steps in, sees the advertisement and as soon as he takes his first step on the lawn and he sees the children he realizes that he is at home and I think it's about these two people who are obviously strangers getting to know each other playing house, playing family, and then ultimately falling in love. So the next two books I have here is actually part of the series um, that Lori Copeland wrote. I don't know what the series is actually called, but I know that she rewrote these titles. Um, this one's called Promise Me Today. This one's called Promise Me Tomorrow. And I read the third book in the series already. I am excited to read about the two other sisters. Essentially, the premise of the story is that there are three sisters. They are bad people. They rob places and they are going to be hauled off into jail and then what happens is they take over the wagon and then um, they run away from the police and then our three heroes see this wagon kind of just like riding down the road and it's just crazy you know like things are happening um, it's not safe and then our heroes stop the wagon and then they each decide to take one of the sisters and kind of run off to avoid the police and then these both individually follow obviously the individual sisters with their respective hero. So the last two books are actually part of a series. I think it's a duet um, from Maya Rodell that I want to really read. So I've seen these on Thrift Books and I finally bought them. Um, the first book is called The Air and the Spare and it involves our heroine who is falling in love with twin brothers and the twin brothers obviously look the same and they have very different personalities um, and she has kind of like a hard time telling them apart but they both really like her and care for her and then now it's kind of up to her to make a decision and choice on which brother she is going to pick. Now if you read the synopsis of the second book which is called The Rogue and the Rival you'll kind of know which brother did the heroine from the first book pick out but essentially what happened is that our heroine has been damaged before she's been hurt before by someone she's been you know jilted and now she has to kind of live in a small town out of shame where she's going to just kind of live out the rest of her life without like out of society's eyes essentially because she kind of lost her reputation and then it's there what happens is that she meets our hero who had a riding accident and the reason why he is still alive is because a bunch of females that she lives with our heroine lives with kind of rescued him and brought him back to this house and he's just like 
uh, why are all these girls so nosy? Why are these girls so like loud and chirpy and things like that? And he falls in love with their heroine. So I think this one's going to be really fun. And I think this one's going to be super angsty. I'm excited to read Maya Riddell's older books. I've read her books before and I really like them. Um, the ones that she published from Avon. This one she published with Berkeley Sensation. So we'll see how her writing style has changed since then. But anyways, that is it for all the older historical romance books that I have on my shelf that I really want to read. Hopefully I can to read them soon. And hopefully you have some books to add to your radar too as well. And I'll see you guys again next time in a new video. Bye.